Hi, it's Pat Fitzgerald, the VA Loan Guy. Today I'm going to answer the question, what happens when a VA appraisal value comes in short? All right, so let's say the home gets sold for $250,000 and that's the contract price. The mortgage company sends that appraisal uh, directly to the VA appraiser that's been appointed on this deal, along with a copy of the contract. The appraiser then goes out to the property, measures the property, uh, looks at the amenities, looks at the uh, you know the square footage, the condition of the home, and overall just uh, formulates an opinion. The appraiser then goes back to his office and does some research looking for other properties in the neighborhood of similar size and amenities. This is why it's so important for your realtor to be doing what's called a CMA or comparative market analysis. What that does is that tells you and the realtor what their estimate is that that house is going to appraise for before the appraiser ever gets there. How can that happen? Both the realtor and the appraiser use the same sold database to know what homes in that neighborhood have sold for recently. So if the appraiser cannot find the value that's on that contract, he declares what's called Tidewater. That's a VA term stating that the appraiser cannot find the value that's on that contract and he gives the, the mortgage company 48 hours to contact the realtors and see if they can come up with some additional comparable properties that might not have been noted by the appraiser. Um, if no additional comps are available, then the appraiser states the, the value as based on what he's come up with. So many times this causes a great big problem. That's why I decided to make this video because I've had this happen three times in the last 30 days. So if, uh, if the value sticks and it comes in short, then the buyer has a choice of, uh, of uh, paying the difference out of his pocket, which rarely happens, or the seller can come down on the price, or they can perhaps meet it halfway and, and, uh, and come out of both pockets. That rarely happens. My experience has been that the seller comes down on the price of the home to make the deal go through. On VA, if the value does come in short of what the contract is, per VA guidelines, the seller has to allow the buyer to opt out of the contract and return their earnest money. So remember, it doesn't cost a penny to talk. If you have any questions, please give me a call. I'm at 210-215-4400. Thanks for tuning in.